Good morning, Panthers. I'm Jada. And I'm Tanisha. And today we're going to talk about national history today. And we're okay. also going to be... Let me do it again. And today we're going to talk about National History Day. And we're also going to be talking to a member of the JV baseball team. And today is also Pi Day, so let's get started. Forest Fire, Rizza. Panthers dressing to the... Get to school on time. At 11.30. Our latest news at... Our account on starts. Interviews in... Edit use in... Anchor. This shows up. Welcome to the Forest Fire. Today is Wednesday, March 14th. Let's see what's going on in the inbox today. FBLA is selling gourmet lollipops. They are a dollar. Get yours today. Congratulations to Joshua Stein, Nicole Campbell, Austin Van Wingard, and Taylor Ard on winning the Regional National History Day contest. Horry County Schools teacher scholarships up to $3,000 for seniors who want to pursue a career in education. If interested, see Ms. Baran in the counseling department. Deadline March 16th. Job fair at Lakewood Camping Resort on March 21st is from 12 to 6 o'clock. Today is 3.14 Pie Day. There will be a pie eating contest at all four lunches. Class versus class. Cheer your class on. Eight stop prep Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30 from Math Room G101 English Room B105. Ultimate Frisbee Spirit Night fundraiser at Beef O'Brady is Thursday, March 15th from 6 to 9 p.m. Lay Miz is March 29th, April 1st, 7 p.m., and tickets are $12. Theater and Lay Miz t shirts are on sale for $10. Lay Miz buttons are on sale for $2. See Miss Hall in the drama room. The Krispy Kreme Dinner Run is Saturday, March 24th at 9 a.m. Register at the websites below. Fishing Club will meet Monday, March 19th in Miss C's room. Prom ticket sales are Tuesday and all lunches in the cafe. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during break and after school in E103 and E113. Tuesday until 4.30 in E103 and E113 and tickets are now $70. If you want to be in the senior video, please send your pictures to Selena Rosales at LiveOriconiSchools.net. Deadline is April 9th. Saturday school will be held April 21st and 28th, May 5th and 12th, at 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. Pick up your permission slip from the front of any house. That's all for today's update. Now let's catch up with Danielle who interviews Joshua about National History Day. Hey guys, I'm Danielle here with Josh. So I heard you were involved with National History Day. What exactly is that? National History Day is a competition that me, myself, and like a couple of other people went to where you have a topic that relates to the theme and you get interviewed by judges and then they, if you win, you go on to states and then Basically, yeah. And are you excited that you made it? Yeah, I am really excited because I honestly didn't think I would make it because I was going on about how I was not going to win, but then I won, so. And are there any prizes that you uh, get for winning? Well, you get a medal and then you advance to the state championships, and if you win that, you go to nationals, and then if you win nationals, you get money, so. Okay, thank you, and back to you guys in the studio. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like with JD. So guys, JD here at Force Forecast. Uh, it's nice outside there, sunny weather. We have a high of 75, low of 55. Tomorrow is sunny, and back to you guys in the studio. Now let's check out our CF Sports after the short announcement. How does it take to produce the whole play this show? Um, well, we started in the fall. We started in the fall um, preparing with some preliminary things <laughs> like... What's up? I'm Kevin. And I'm Troy with your Forest Fire Sports. Now let's see what's going on in the Forest of Sports. 
Congratulations, the varsity baseball team won their 3-1 to one victory over West Florence. Eric Knapp was the winning pitcher with 12 strikeouts and the leading hitter with three hits, one double and two RBIs. Congratulations to the JV baseball team on their 13-3 to three victory against North Myrtle Beach. J.D. Hart and Paul Gruber had two hits at the plate with the double. Congratulations to the varsity softball team on their 10-0 victory against West Florence. Kaitlin Hummel was two, two for two with three runs and an RBI. Congratulations to the JV softball team on their victory 11-7 over North Myrtle Beach. Kira Stenbeck was the winning pitcher. Jessica Lumbeck was three and four with two doubles. Varsity softball has a home game tonight against Sox D at 6 p.m. Track has an away meet tonight against St. James at 5 p.m. Boys Tennis has a home game tonight against Georgetown at 5 p.m. That's it for our sports report. Now let's pass it on to Paul and interview J.D. about JV Baseball. Thanks, guys. I'm here with J.D. Hart, a member from our JV Baseball team. So, J.D., can you tell me how your game the other night against North Myrtle Beach went? Uh, we won 13-3 against North Myrtle Beach. We beat them in five innings. Uh, we 10-run ruled them. We played pretty good as a team. I thought it was a good team win because we started at 0-2, and, and it was good to come back and start fresh. So how did you do in your pitching and hitting? Well, I got the win as a pitcher, and I went 2-3 for three, uh, at the plate. So I think I did pretty good, but that's not what matters because our defense played great and everybody else hit pretty well, and that's what led us to the victory. All right, can you tell me when your next game is? We play Myrtle Beach at home on Thursday night at 5.30. All right, thank you. Congratulate your JV boys team and back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> now let's send it back to Jada and Tanisha. Thanks, Joy. Now let's see what's cooking in the cafe today. Today's lunch is baked ham, macaroni and cheese, fried squash, yeast roll, and peach crisp. Or a Chick-fil-A with a baked potato. That's it for today. Stay classy and have a wonderful Wednesday. And for all the seniors going out on the senior trip, be safe and have fun. And have a happy pie day.